Hi, welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Let's get started on this lovely zucchini or courgette and broccoli au gratin. As you can see, I've got a pan here with a touch of olive oil in. I start off with a touch of salt. Then I'm going to go with some dried herbs. I've got oregano and tarragon in there. You can use whatever you want. And I've got this amount of onion, but I'm going to use about half. We we'll use the half for the sauce as well, which we'll get onto a bit later. I'm also got a little bit here of garlic. That's like one teaspoon of finely chopped garlic. Now on a fairly low heat, let's just cook these for two minutes. Just give them a head start. I'll see you then. Okay, that's just a couple of minutes. Now what we're going to do is add our broccoli and our courgette or zucchini. Sort of cut them roughly the same sort of size. Some nice florets of broccoli and some nice chunky zucchini. Going to turn the heat up now. And I sort of just want to sort of stir fry these a little bit. I want to retain their crunchiness, but at the same time, I do want the flavour of the herbs we put in, that garlic and those onions to penetrate around it. Sometimes people will show you recipes where they, you just steam the vegetables and then pour sauce on it, which I find makes the vegetables a little bit bland. I mean, this way, at least we've got a bit of flavour in them, and then we'll add our beautiful sauce sort of doubling up on flavour. Works for me. So just a couple of minutes, keep your eye on it, just like a little stir fry. And I'll be back. Okay, that was just a couple of minutes. It's slightly starting to, you get soft now, which is where we want them to be, but still nice and crunchy. So all I'm going to do now is put these vegetables to one side. I'm going to come back with this empty pan and now we'll make the sauce in this pan. See you in a moment. Okay, so I'm back now. I've added a little bit more olive oil in there and the rest of our onions and a little bit more oregano. I'm also going in now with a little touch more garlic. Entirely up to you that is. And again, the same process, we're going to just cook this for a couple of minutes. Let me add a little bit of salt to this now. So this is, this is on a kind of, just above a simmer really, this is not a raging heat at all. I don't want these onions crispy, I want them nice and soft. So I'll be back here in two minutes where we're going to make the rest of the sauce, which is really easy. There's no flour in this one. And um, it's nice and quick and creamy. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay, there you go. Couple of minutes. They've softened nicely. I'm now just going to throw in a little bit of butter, some unsalted butter. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit now. I'm using oregano and tarragon in this dish, but you can go for whatever you like, I suppose. Um, basil, sage, rosemary, thyme, all would really work. And again, the reason I added the butter later is um, if I put it in too early, it will burn, which I don't want that to happen. So cooking those onions just in the oil works really well first. Okay. Now here we go. I've got some cooking cream here. In she goes. That's about 200, 250 ml. The heat's quite high at the moment. I've got some grated Parmesan cheese. 
And what I really love now is a nice big dollop of cream cheese, like a Philadelphia. And like I say, this is on a high heat. We literally need to just really stir this in. Now break down this cream cheese and this sauce will be done. It tastes amazing, it's so quick. And no flour involved, there's no bechamel roux making going on here. This is kind of instant cream sauce. That is delicious. So I'm just gonna mix this around, get that oil worked into the cream, break the cream cheese down, which will happen while the heat's going through it. And we're simply now gonna mix the two of these together. What I'm gonna do is I've got a nice oven proof dish. I'm gonna lay out seasoned vegetables in there. I'm then gonna pour this sauce all over it. Add a bit more cheese. I might add some cheddar on this one actually. And then it's gonna pop in the oven. And when it comes out, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, this sauce. Done. I'll see you at the next stage. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my vegetables in a nice oven proof dish, like a Pyrex or something that's not going to break in the oven basically. Simply, we've got our lovely sauce here, which I'm now going to pour over our vegetables. Then I'm then going to top this off with some sliced cheddar cheese that I've got. You could add any cheese you like, actually your favourite would be good for you I suppose. Then what I'll do is add a little bit of pepper, some black pepper all over that. That's going to go into my oven medium shelf for about 15 minutes. Everything's cooked in there. So all we're doing is bringing it together and making sure that it looks nice and golden brown or however you want it. I'll see you when it comes out of the oven. Here we go. Fresh out of the oven. Absolutely delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That always helps us quite a lot. We've hundreds of different recipes from all around the world by many different chefs. This is delicious. Let us know how you get on with it. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.